In chapter 25 of Matthew, it says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise, and five were foolish. Those that foolish took their lamps, but they didn't take any oil in them. But the wise took oil in their vessels and their lamps. That's the Holy Spirit. And as, as, as the apostle says, you don't need any man to teach you, because the Holy Spirit is teaching you all things. But those that have not the Spirit, they join in men, man-made religions and believe the lies. And they have no Spirit of God in them. And, and they're not ready, you see. So the, the call went out, you know. In the 1800s, William Miller, and they, they were all anticipating the return of Christ then. The Adventists, it was a big thing. So it says in verse six at, mid, in 6, at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. And all those vessels uh, rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give unto, uh, give us unto, unto us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. The wise said, No, you go to those that buy it and uh, buy it and buy for your, I mean, go to those that sell it and buy it for yourselves. And the bridegroom came, and they that were went re ready went in to the marriage, and the door was shut. So, afterward also came the other virgin, saying, Lord, open to us. But he said, I verily, I truly, I tell you, I don't know you. Huh? Watch therefore, for you know not the day nor the hour when the Son of Man cometh. So when that call was made, it was not a time to go to sleep. But many of Jehovah's Witnesses have gone to sleep. If you talk to them, they don't know, have any idea about the New World Order. They don't have any idea about who's ruling things. They don't have any idea about that Eighth Kingdom that's soon to take control. And the Watchtower is not telling them. Zip! Silent about this New World Order. And that's because they took that tax-exempt status. That's because they've sold out to the kingdoms of this world. And you're not being unfaithful to the God in heaven, Jehovah, if you start researching for yourselves. Yeah, how wicked it is to sell out the God of heaven for a lousy, crappy 30 bucks, 30 gold, silver pieces. And to, and to deceive your whole flock so that they're in danger of eternal death because they're not ready. And if you're not ready, how are you going to stand up to the beast? He does, God doesn't want you to suffer. That's why he tells you to flee when you see that abomination. Just like he didn't want the, Jesus didn't want the Christians to suffer in the first century. But told them, when you see the uh, Jerusalem encamped by the Roman armies to flee. Jesus Christ didn't want them in there to suffer starvation or mothers were eating their own children. He doesn't want you to be in a, a prisoner camp where they're torturing people and mind putting you through mind control re-education. He doesn't want you to suffer that. Get with the Bible. I'm trying to save your soul. Trying to help you to gain knowledge to save your souls, you know. Okay, so, yeah. So it says, Blessed that is that servant whom, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Very I say unto you that he shall make him ruler. He shall make him ruler all over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, Oh, my Lord, delay is coming. And shall begin to smite his fellow servants. Yeah, don't listen to anyone else now. And to eat and drink with the drunkards. They're asleep spiritually. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. Yeah, that's when he's going to come, when you're not looking for him. In an hour that he's not aware of. Not aware. I wonder why he's not aware. Because he's not awake. Because he's sold out, man. He's not interested. And shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. Yeah, the hypocrites. Those that profess to know God and are liars. Have no integrity toward God but have sold out to man. There shall be weeping 
and gnashing of teeth for those unbelievers that make a pretense and worship mammon instead of God.